Good evening, JSD families, and thank you for joining us for our virtual Plan Your Path presentation. We started this virtual event last year during the COVID-19 pandemic, and based on the feedback we received from our families, we are continuing this event virtually again this year. This is an exciting time for our eighth grade students and families as students begin to plan their path for high school. I am Brooklyn Schaefer, the Director of Post-Secondary Readiness for Joshua ISD. I would like to take a moment to introduce our JISD Secondary Counseling Team. At Laughlin Middle School, we have Mrs. Christy McDonald and Ms. Rosabel Ordonez. At Nichols Middle School, we have Mr. Doug Hampton and Mrs. Lauren Heiser. At our ninth grade campus, we have Mrs. Kristen Walker. At the ninth grade campus and New Horizon High School, we have Mrs. Penny Knight. And Mrs. Knight also works with our associate's degree program students. At Joshua High School, we have Mrs. Jordan Eichert, Mrs. Sarah Pear, and Mrs. Ashley Aaron. Mrs. Aaron also works with our associate degree program students in grades 10, 11, and 12. Although we are meeting virtually this evening, our goals remain the same for Plain Your Path. This evening, we will inform you about House Bill 5, graduation requirements, and endorsements and pathways. We will also discuss Zello and the eighth grade Plain Your Path timeline. Our agenda for the evening is to show you a quick video to take a peek inside the endless opportunities in Joshua ISD. We will go over House Bill 5 endorsement pathways to graduation. At the end of this evening, we will discuss the JISD Associate's Degree Program for those interested in learning more about our program. Also, please note this presentation will be posted and emailed later this week. The presentation will include a link where you can submit your questions and an FAQ will be created from the questions submitted. As we are going through the presentation this evening, feel free to jot down any questions you may have. Here is our quick video to show you all about the great things JISD has to offer for students in grades 9 through 12. Now, let's learn what House Bill 5 is and our endorsement pathways to graduation. House Bill 5 was designed to instill more flexibility in public education by enabling students to either pursue a traditional path into colleges and universities or move directly into the workforce to fill what business leaders say is a critical skills shortage. Within House Bill 5, we have endorsements that allow students to enter a desired pathway to prepare students for post-secondary opportunities. We have opportunities for all students to find the perfect fit. Graduation requirements for JISD are a combination of state and local requirements. These include 
four credits of English, math, science, and social studies. Within these core requirements, there are some important items to note. Students that begin Algebra 1 in eighth grade are expected to continue on an accelerated math track and take four years of math in high school and one science credit must be either chemistry or physics. Required electives include two foreign language credits within the same language, one PE credit, one fine arts credit, half of a credit in speech, one technology credit, and four and a half electives. Four of those electives must be in a coherent sequence within an endorsement area. You will learn more about endorsements later in this presentation. Your student will be learning more about each of these credits in the JISD courses that correspond with these requirements at a later date. Counselors will be presenting this information to your student, along with helping them create a four-year plan for high school. All parents and students will also have access to our online JISD course description guide. This guide will give a detailed description of each of our courses, information regarding GPA calculation and weights, and other helpful information to choose the courses that best fit your students' needs. Upon graduation, students can receive performance acknowledgements on their transcripts. There are several ways that students can receive a performance acknowledgement. Receiving 12 hours of college credit while maintaining a 3.0 or higher, through bilingualism or biliteracy, scoring a three or higher on an AP exam, being recognized as a commended scholar or higher on the PSAT, a combined score of 1310 on the SAT, or a score of a 28 on the ACT, or by earning a business or industry certification. Students may earn more than one performance acknowledgement. To best prepare yourself now for the transition to post-secondary education or quality workforce training, Choosing and taking the right classes is essential. The distinguished level of achievement will ensure the best preparation for your future. The distinguished level of achievement requires a total of four credits in math, including Algebra 2, a total of four credits in science, and successful completion of an endorsement area in your area of interest. Students who graduate in the top 10% of their class and complete the foundation plan with distinguished level of achievement are eligible for automatic admissions. It's important to note that students must enroll in college no more than two years after graduating from high school to maintain their automatic admission status. This rule has been modified for the University of Texas at Austin, where automatic admission is limited to the top 6%. An endorsement is similar to a college major. Students are given the opportunity to select an endorsement in an area of their interest and take courses within this focus area. Endorsements consist of related courses that are grouped together by interest or skill set. Students are able to earn more than one endorsement. JISD offers five endorsements. The state requirement is to graduate with one endorsement, but based on course selections, a student may graduate with more than one endorsement. We will discuss these endorsement opportunities in a little more detail in the coming slides. Once your student has chosen one of our five major endorsements, they will then focus their coursework by choosing a specific pathway within that endorsement. Counselors will work with your students to select the correct course sequence to complete their pathway during four-year plan meetings scheduled in the middle school careers classes during the spring semester. Students taking courses under the Arts and Humanities endorsement can complete a pathway in Social Studies, Art, Band, Choir, Dance, Theater, or a language other than English, which includes Spanish. Students taking courses under the Business and Industry endorsement can complete a pathway in Construction Technology, Animation and Audiovisual, Business Management, Marketing and Sales, Culinary Arts, Ag Mechanics, Animal Science, Debate, Web Development, or Accounting and Financial Services. The four pathways marked with a star can lead to industry-based certifications. Students taking courses under the Public Services endorsement can complete a pathway in Cosmetology, ROTC, Early Learning, Teaching and Training, or Health Science. The three pathways marked with a star 
can lead to industry-based certifications. Students taking courses under the STEM endorsement can complete a pathway in computer science, math, science, or combination math and science, or engineering. The endorsement selection sheet lists all of the endorsement areas and pathways offered in Joshua ISD. Students will select one endorsement and pathway and take courses in that area each year of high school. Students will receive this form from their careers class after the virtual plan your path field trip. Parent approval and signature is required on the endorsement selection sheet. What is Zello? Zello is an internet-based career exploration and planning tool used by your student in the careers course to explore college and career options to develop a career plan. Students translate their newfound knowledge into an actionable roadmap by piecing together their saved career and academic options to create a personalized plan. Zello provides an integrated course planning that assists in creating a clear path to their future goals. By the time ninth grade counselors begin meeting with eighth grade students, the students will have completed interest inventories in Zello, which may help guide them to choose an endorsement and pathway that connects with their interests and skill strengths. Students can share their Zello information with their parents. If you did not receive this from your student, please ask them about it so that you can be involved in the process. This is the eighth grade timeline for creating a four-year plan. On January 12th for Nichols and January 13th for Laughlin, we will hold our Plan Your Path field trips at Joshua High School. Students will spend the day at the Joshua High School campus exploring options for endorsements and programs that are available to them at the ninth grade campus and Joshua High School. On January 7th, the window for applying for the associate's degree program will open and then close on January 13th. Students who are accepted into the associate's degree program will have a specific endorsement and a more specialized four-year plan. They will receive an endorsement form and the student and parent can discuss and choose their endorsements and that form is due back on January 18th. With all this information, we will begin helping your student create their four-year plan. For any questions regarding information so far, please contact your campus counselor. Additionally, we will post a link to submit questions and then post an FAQ on the JISD counseling website. We will now move into the portion of our meeting about the JISD Associate's Degree Program. JISD started an Associate's Degree Program partnership with Hill College in the fall of 2018. Next school year, we will begin our fifth cohort of students and 25 current students from Laughlin Middle School and Nichols Middle School can be selected for the program based on an application process. We will have our first cohort of students graduate this May with both their high school diploma and an associate's degree. These are just some of the partnerships that Hill College has with colleges and universities. These partnerships will assist in the transition from an associate's degree to a four-year degree program. Students will still apply as a first-time freshman when applying to colleges at the end of high school. They will not be considered a transfer student. By the time JISD associate degree students graduate, they will have completed 60 college credit hours, earning an Associates of Arts degree in Liberal Arts. Students who commit to this program begin by completing two courses for a total of four college credit hours their freshman year. These courses occupy one class period out of a nine class period day. These students will take a college readiness course called Learning Framework and Professional Communications. Sophomore year, students increase the amount of courses they take to four courses, totaling 12 college credit hours for the year. These courses occupy two class periods out of a nine class period day. They will take Business Computer Information Systems, Psychology, Sociology, and Texas Government. Junior year, students complete six, six courses for a total of 18 hours for the year, occupying three class periods out of the nine. These courses include Music Appreciation, English Composition, U.S. History, and another psychology course called Lifespan Growth and Development. Senior year, students will complete eight courses for a total of 26 hours, occupying four class periods out of the nine. These courses are English-British Literature, College Algebra, College Statistics, Federal Government, 
macroeconomics, and anatomy and physiology. The TSIA is required for dual credit course enrollment. Students who are selected for the associate degree program will attempt both the ELAR and math sections of the TSIA during the spring semester of their eighth grade year. If a student does not pass the ELAR section of the TSIA, they will continue to prepare for a retest during their ninth grade year. The ELAR section must be passed in order to enroll in 10th grade associate degree program courses. Students who do not pass the math TSIA section will continue to prepare for a retest during their 10th grade year. The math TSIA section must be passed in order to enroll in 11th grade associate degree program courses. Joshua ISD currently commits funding and resources to the associate's degree program. JISD provides teacher support by providing a JISD teacher in the Hill College courses during the freshman and sophomore years. These teachers work to support the students as well as prepare students for the Texas Success Initiative Assessment, or TSIA. Students who apply and commit to the program are expected to complete all four years of the program. We encourage students to still participate in extracurricular activities and other activities. However, it is important to note that the program does take a time commitment from students. For example, it will be very difficult to be in the associate's degree program, participate in a CTE or career and technical education program, and also be a cheerleader at the same time. Again, the program takes a big time commitment when making the decision to apply to the associate's degree program, please consider all areas of interest and activities during the four years of high school. If you are interested in applying for the associate degree program cohort 2026, please pay close attention to the timeline. The application will open online Friday, January the 7th at 8.30 a.m. The deadline for application submissions will be Thursday, January 13th at 4 p.m. No late submissions will be accepted. Please note, students are selected based on rubric criteria and not based on a first come on the application submission. We encourage students to submit a well thought out application. Students and parents will be notified of acceptance or non-acceptance no later than January the 21st. Here are just a few great things our students that are in the associate's degree program are saying about this great program and the opportunity. If you have any questions about the associate's degree program, please contact Mrs. Knight, Mrs. Aaron, or myself, Mrs. Schaefer, at the email addresses on the screen. This concludes our presentation for the evening and we sincerely appreciate you joining us. We look forward to helping your student take flight and plan their path. Thank you again from all of us here on the JSD Secondary Counseling Services team.